from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, it has been a quiet run of weather. We've had three great days. 60s were on Saturday, 70s, upper 70s. Yesterday on Sunday and today we're in the 70s. If you're southern part of our viewing area, you're upper 70s to 80. That's not bad. That should give you spring fever. We're looking out west, though, and there's an additional storm system that's out to the west that's continuing to move in. We have winter storms and kind of winter weather up to the north of us in Dakotas. But this storm that's coming in out of the Pacific, it is not over with yet, and the rest of the week could be horrible. And to give you an idea, I wanted to just share this picture with you. One of the guys that works here, one of our managers sent this in. This is his brother's dog, and this is the snow in Truckee. Uh, California and there that was right before another this last round came in they were going to experience another three to four feet of snow was forecast on top of this so it, it's almost stunning to think what's going on because it's been kind of wacky weather and you know California had the flooding and all that going on about a month and a half to two months ago and while we were having the mild weather while we were into January well tonight there's a stream of moisture this southern branch of the jet stream that's what gave us clouds today around the Tulsa area kind of slowed down the warming but it was nice anyway but this is also going to be a conveyor belt and kind of the dividing line between warm south and cold north so we're going to be on the battle zone so to speak with shower and thunderstorm activity but I tell you what Days since a quarter inch of rain at one time, like a, a rainfall of quarter inch in the panhandle, is like it's ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. And the amounts of rain in the last 60 days is basically ridiculous as well. 13.3 inches in Idabel, and then 0.3 inches in Guymon. That pretty much tells a huge story. And of course, out west, it's always going to be drier, just because of the way the geography is. But needless to say, the thought process is that it should be a little bit more fair, but it's just hasn't been. And so what we're going to look at with the uh, drought monitor, you can have a pretty good idea that it's going to be not looking good. And the dividing line is basically right around the Tulsa area, I-44 area. And so this is huge from the Yugo southeast to Muskogee, Fayetteville, Poteau, and then contrast that with uh, western Osage County, Ponca City, and you're in a whole different world, even though you're only about five to seven counties uh, apart. And we're looking for the additional rain where? As we go through the next 10 days, basically the same place. How much? Two to three and a half inches of rain in some of these areas. And then you get in northern Osage County, well, we'll get an inch or two, so that's good. Uh, but then you get further north and then to the west and out to the Panhandle, basically nothing. So again, weird stuff going on. Tonight, the front continues to push south a little bit, but it's starting to really slow down. It's not that cold, as I mentioned before. It's just kind of hanging in there. Overnight to the morning hours, we'll drop a little bit. We'll be the coldest north, still hanging about 50s, mid to upper 50s in southeastern Oklahoma. And as we go through the uh, midday hours, scattered showers will develop, mainly that warm, moist air coming back over the cooler air. And so that'll create some showers and storms across our northern part of our area. And then as we go on into the afternoon, not much, and then better chance of storms by this time tomorrow night. Some of those will be locally heavy. Isolated severe storms, some hail will be possible. It's mainly heavy rain and some small hail with some of these storms. And then those will continue to move south and east as we go through early Wednesday morning. And then we'll have temperatures in the 40s to low 50s. So again, the shot of heaviest rains, southeast part of our viewing area. By the time we get on into the afternoon for our Wednesday, another band will come in. We'll be in the 50s to near 60 with 60 south because that's where the boundary will be located. So that's where the heavier rain and thunderstorms will be located. And then on Thursday, the last of the precipitation is trying to move on out. As that happens, we'll probably clear out, hopefully get a little sunshine in here late in the day with temperatures in the 50s, rebounding to 70 down to the south and to the west. Overall, Friday doesn't look too bad with temperatures in the 50s to near 60, but we have an additional front that's going to kind of mess with us over the weekend, so that's going to keep a slight chance of showers in on our weekend and keep us from really getting warmed up. We're going to be close. Western Oklahoma will be in the 70s, but I think we're going to be on the cooler side, and so our spring break begins on the cool side of life, so don't be surprised. All right, so right now you can see it's okay, and we do have some tree pollen. That's about the only negative at this point. Our forecast looks like this, 43 tomorrow morning. Scattered sprinkles or showers to the north of Tulsa, 54 at noontime, 57 here in the afternoon with scattered rain and a few showers around. The best chance of storms will be happening tomorrow night. That's a pretty good shot. Heavy, isolated, severe with a little bit of hail. Showers still hanging around a little bit on Wednesday. Slight chance on Thursday before it moves on out. Weekend is okay, but clouds come back with a slight chance of shower Saturday and Sunday, so that's going to keep us kind of just in there. So we've had a good run, we so have. we'll be happy about that. All right. All right. They'd give us some spring fever over the weekend, oh, though. Man, they do. <laughs>